research places for assessing various theories that are well-established, generally relativity, and the quantum space. In development, they've driven physicists into ignored areas of actual science, putting our ongoing cognizance of the guidelines of the universe through a strong authenticity check. Eventually, our data on dull openings gets refined with the progress of fresher strategies for insight and our technologic echo progress. At any rate, how we could decipher dull openings is limited considering the way that we can't directly see them with brilliant mass. Dim openings showing up at temperatures in the billions of Kelvin, examination is restricted to indirect techniques and theories as referred to before. At the focal point of the intriguing thought of dim openings lies the event horizon limit in spacetime, where no information, even light, can move away from. That is the significant part of dull openings. This component is more than a clear area of strength for gravitationally component a space of truly beyond human comprehension. As we approach the event horizon, the laws of material science experience a huge shift but simultaneously offer an impression into the mysteries of these trained professionals. What we know beyond a shadow of a doubt is the way a piece of these dim openings are made. It's a spread-out truth that the gravitational breakdown of stars frequently prompts the creation of dim openings. This fundamentally happens when a thing's internal tension forgets to go against its gravity. Scientists complement the meaning of high-density conditions for this breakdown. In the continuous time of the universe, such densities basically exist inside stars. In any case, during the early post-Large Bang universe, densities were out and out higher, likely working with the creo of dull openings. Isolated from high-density, Dull opening advancement as well requires the mass to be unevenly flowed to keep the mass from becoming uniform. For beginning phase dim openings to shape in such thick conditions, they presumably been starting changes in thickness which, in this way, allowed them to create by method for gravity. At any rate, gravitational breakdown isn't the primary way dull openings are molded. High energy influences can similarly make dull openings. On the remote possibility that they achieve satisfactory thickness, Yet beginning around 2002, no such event has been recognized clearly or without a doubt. We guess that James Webb ought to make impeccably disclosures. We guess that only minutes earlier, the James Webb telescope found something incredible that is shaking the genuine preparations of our endless grasping. This disclosure is adjusting the norms of our universe as far as we might be concerned as scientists update their theories from seeing as hid away boundless privileged insights to unveiling the universe's past imaginative brain. The JW's latest exposure has set laid out analysts igniting with assumption. With each discernment, this forefront telescope takes us back in time, uncovering special experiences about the start of the universe. What could be the personality of the immense thing JWST actually distinguished? How should this latest revelation change our wisdom of the universe and its mysteries? Oblige us as three minutes earlier, James Webb Telescope just perceived an enormous thing in space. Music December 25th, 2021, signified a beast bounce for humanity in space examination. On this game-changing day, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was shipped off as the most mind-boggling instrument for infrared cosmology and stargazing. Its general capacities consider the examination of the farthest and earliest stars and universes in the universe. With its phenomenal objective and mindfulness, JWS has introduced to us one more component of immense insight. One of the major forward jumps of the JWST is its remarkable expertise to explore the past, furnishing us with a concise look at the principal stars and the turn of events of exactly on schedule universes. It helps specialists with making definite assessments of the environments of bearable exoplanets as well as the baffling components of dull openings scattered across the universe. Dim openings are confounding grandio experts shaped by the leftover pieces of falling stars. They apply gravitational power so outrageous that even light can't escape their force. Dull openings are segments of the universe where the truth is contorted by an event horizon. The event horizon is known as the last turning point, a neighborhood that challenges the principles of current actual science. While dim openings are to some degree new exposures, the hypothesis of relativity had shown about their existence beforehand. They were eventually found. The hypothesis recommends that enough thick masses can win spacetime to shape the uncommon plans we call dim openings. Today, at first impalpable reality of dull openings is revealed by their innate gravitational effect on including material space satellites. Exceptionally, 
the JWST uses different sorts of present-day instruments to recognize the reasonable traces of dim opening presence. Analysts can determine the dull Hall's properties and presence by seeing how the nearby stars and the gas act around these substances. Unequivocally, they research the gravitational effects on adjoining stars, determining if they circle or are removed by the colossal gravitational draw. Commonly, the James Webb Space Telescope outfitted with what's more to cut edge instruments, exceptional components, helps us with looking more significant into the universe to handle gives that were once thought of unsettled. Capable as a dim opening and a star moved closer, they radiate a ton of high energy, and the infinite scene ends up being incredibly impressive. At any rate, notwithstanding their profound impact on including matter, dim openings have an odd quality. Their layered assessment remains hazy. As constrained by the hypothesis of relativity, this is because the gravity of the dim opening controls the determination of anything that difficulties to advance toward unnecessarily close. The no-hair speculation further gets a handle on the riddle of dull openings. It suggests that once a dim opening achieves robustness following its improvement, it has only three quantifiable properties, mass, electric charge, and saucy power. In any case, this ease cloak the unpredictability of these huge experts, making it hard to separate dull openings, notwithstanding of whether they have the same actual attributes. By looking at such dim openings, we see that they are as moved family, presenting indisputable features. The first kind of dim opening is the superb mass dull opening. These are the smallest, having a heap somewhere in the scope of one and on different occasions the greater part of the sun. At the opposite end, we have the very enormous dim openings, checking million or even billion times the mass of the sun. As shown by consistent speculations, the death of gigantic stars in the early universe imagined a posterity to extremely tremendous dull openings with mass beyond 1,000 suns. In the middle position, we have centered dull openings that somehow fall between their wonderful and very gigantic cousins. Furthermore, instead of common reasoning, a few dull openings are by and large little, nearly appearing however little as a particle. Yes, it very well may be trying to imagine or believe that extremely immense stars can have such brief size and stay aware of such a tremendous mass, impressively more gigantic than an opening mountain. Regardless, this is the reality of things, exploring the smooth way. Presently, there's countless dull openings spread across the universe each having a mass indistinguishable from an enormous number of solar masses. Speculative discernments and experience have shown that enormous dull openings will for the most part keep a central situation in enormous frameworks, remembering our smooth way for the center of the smooth way lies Sagittarius A. Very huge dim opening with a staggering mass indistinguishable from around 4 million suns, this makes it the incomparable most prominent article in its ecological elements. With progressively more investigation on dim openings, what makes these substances so appealing is their multifaceted design, which has kept scientists required for a truly long time. These bizarre plans are the by implication showed by mass irregular characteristics in atom smasher tests. Of all that is interesting about dark openings, the most captivating is their dynamic nature. They don't have clear sizes, and they can continue to develop with no limits by gobbling up the encompassing matter. All dark openings get by ingesting gas and residue tracked down in space, eventually bringing about their remarkable development. Disablement is one of the fundamental elements responsible for the making of some really monstrous dark openings. Furthermore, this cycle has been proposed as one of the potential ways for the formation of middle dark openings in globular bunches. Also, dark openings can converge with different articles like stars or much other dark openings to shape a Goliath dark opening. Till today, dark opening development stays a subject of study, and with the activity of James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, we are set to reveal more top-to-bottom subtleties. However, there have been worries about the chance of a dark hole stirring things up around town and obliterating our planet. However, because of unwavering researchers, these worries have been let go. They have demonstrated that this present circumstance can't occur in truth. Assuming that we were to somehow replace the sun with a black hole of the same mass, the Earth wouldn't be sucked into the event skyline. Rather, it would rotate around the black hole just as it rotated around the sun, owing to the same gravitational draw. Also, black holes don't move through space consuming heavenly bodies like stars, planets, or moons. 
Thus, Earth as a planet wouldn't surrender to a black hole, as none are right up front in the vicinity of our planetary system. Finally, the Sun can't develop into a black hole as it misses the mark on the expected mass to fall internal. Back to the James Webb Telescope, this best-in-class hardware is as not simply strong enough to notice close by heavenly objects, but it also recognizes substances from the far-off past. The latest achievement is the discovery of around 400 articles in the near circle of our planetary system that were previously unknown. This discovery has sent a wave of energy through the scientific community, meaning the telescope's significant impact on how we might interpret the universe. It is essential to remember that Earth, stars, and galaxies are dissipated in space, filling pretty much 5% of the universe. This plain reality unequivocally proposes that there are numerous other possibilities somewhere within our universe. The James Webb Telescope, JWST, is a key impetus, breaking ideal models and opening privileged insights. Each secret in turn, the JWST is the doorway to a new phase in space research, allowing us to venture into the grandiose secrets that lie beyond the realm of our imagination. It has not just found a lot of secretive objects in the dark and uncharted 95% of our universe, but also revealed the secrets of our reality. Endless situations have transpired in the immensity of time, yet they remain stowed away in the depths of the dark universe. Therefore, revealing the mysteries is critical of our universe and its hidden rules. The JWST is a time machine that allows us to return to the universe right from the absolute first light to the evolution of galaxies through time. As research goes on, as shocking discovery has changed our galactic standpoint, the telescope revealed many old gashes, getting back as soon as 600 million years post-Big Bang. This notable discovery owes a lot to the James Webb Space Telescope's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey Program, lovingly known as JADES. The JADES program provides the necessary data for the initial period of star and world arrangement. Combined with modern technology, the JWST still shapes the way we imagine and depict the magnitude of the universe, revealing the secrets locked by existence. Through the Space Telescope, researchers spent long time frames achieving careful work that included disentangling, inspecting, and ordering faint, far-off cosmic systems. One of the central participants in this work was Ryan N., an understudy from the University of Texas, Austin. The significant focal point of his research are systems that existed at the start of the universe, around 500 to 800 million years after the start of the Big Bang. The researchers called this time the Epic of Reionization. From the examination of Ryan and numerous other researchers, it's clear that following the Big Bang, the universe was encompassed by a confused of gas, making it murky to energetic light for such countless years, approximately one billion years post-Big Bang. This fog scattered the dim and thus grandiose straightforwardness or reionization began. Quite a large number of researchers speculated that dynamic supergigantic dark holes or systems joining with hot young stars contributed to this extraordinary period. The JADES program helped Ryan and his partners in examining these cosmic systems, utilizing the JWST near-infrared spectrograph instrument. Their efforts were focused on identifying marks of star development, a journey that yielded astonishing results. Astoundingly, virtually every universe they studied displayed exceptionally strong emission line marks, which is a clear sign of ongoing star development. Ryan's argument is that cosmic explosion blasts of the very monstrous early ages of stars were the fundamental wellsprings of the necessary intensity. Additionally, the research gathered data demonstrating that the introduction of stars in these youthful universes displayed an example of long patterns of extraordinary star development and brief time frames of ionization when the movement of star Earth declined significantly. Since there was an incredible probability that monstrous stars would exhaust their fuel quickly and go about exploding in a cosmic explosion occasion, they were most probably responsible for pouring energy into their environments, thus blurring conditions that might have existed for the gas to combine to form new stars. During such calm periods, pushing further into the narrative of the introduction of the universe, Jades accepts the lead job by projecting the net to catch the early worlds which existed under 400 million years. In any event, when the universe was still an exceptionally youthful world, the significant level principles of this study are the keys to unwinding the secrets of how stars shaped in the initial millennia after the Big Bang. Even though these systems are many light years away, the light coming from them is adjusted and undergoes changes all through its cosmic journey in the expanding universe. 
Generally, the development of the universe extends the light to longer frequencies that seem redder in colors, a peculiarity named redshift. Space experts utilize the so-called redshift to pass judgment on the distance of universes, and the same effect can assist with recognizing those cosmic systems that formed at beginning stages of the universe before the approach of the JWST. Our perceptions were limited to an inadequate few dozen universes with a red shift exceeding eight. A red shift of eight is a period when the universe was younger than 650 million years old. However, the JADES program has revolutionized our capabilities, enabling the detection of almost 1,000 of these really far-off universes. When?